Hello again, Kanse. I recently did a video on farming the Dragon Vein fuel for uh, from this uh, Farewell to Zenoga event quest. I concluded that it was about as efficient as doing uh, Guiding Lands. Uh, however, I did say that if you do it optimized, then you could probably get an increased drop rate. And actually, we did some testing last stream, uh, twitch.tv slash away, by the way, if you want to see the full stream. Uh, we did, we labbed a few different pieces of tech, like we figured out how to consistently bait out like 30 shinies per run uh, fairly easily. Uh, and we also tested other things like knocking about a super rage mode, the different drop rates for the different stuff. And basically, after all the testing, you can see the VOD if you want to, if you want to see what all the testing we went through. But after all the testing, this is basically the method that I concluded would be the fastest way to uh, farm the coal. And it's honestly not that like, <laughs> there's nothing too special to it. Basically, just keep doing as much damage as you can. Because <laughs> when you knock him out of his, his, uh, his charge state, it takes something like in the region of 6,000 damage. When you knock him out of his charge state, he drops a shiny, and that shiny that he drops is uh, guaranteed to be red or, or purple. The 500 or 1000 uh, drop coal. Uh, whereas the individual shinies that he drops when you like flinch him out of moves and stuff are 100 points each uh, most of the time. Um, and so generally speaking, the way I handle this fight is I just try to kill it as quickly as I can while knocking him out of super rage mode as frequently as possible. So generally when he's doing these attacks that charge him up, I I'll let him, I'll let them see them through to completion. Because I want him to go into super rage as quickly as possible so I can start knocking him out of it. Um, now, the shinies on the ground, they despawn every two minutes or so. So what is optimal, so you don't have to keep unsheathing and grabbing shinies, is to uh, try and basically just make sure you pick them up every two minutes. I also wouldn't go out of your way to um, pick up the individual shinies every time they drop, um, aside from the, the ones where you knock him out of his rage, to, uh, his charge state. The regular shinies, they're much more likely to just be at 100 point fuel. They're not particularly valuable, and so it's okay if you let a few of them despawn uh, through the two minute timer. Do try to get them all. But, uh, but just like prioritize getting a bunch of them to drop and then picking them all up in one go like I'm doing now. Um, I, put, I cut it a little bit late here. I'm, I'm a little bit risky, but um, that's because I'm, I, I was mostly just not really paying much attention. Yeah, this isn't a very well optimized run. You can see I accidentally went into like the fucking um, a special ammo, but completely by accident. And I also uh, messed up the, the re-enraging here. I don't wall bang when I'm supposed to. I, I was like not paying a huge amount of attention to this run. We were mostly just shooting the shit with the chat. Um, but uh, yeah, you can see I managed to grab the shinies. Uh, we grabbed two red coals, and those two red coals are both from uh, from knocking him out of his rage state, because we did it in, in, in roughly the same area. So basically, get him enraged as soon as you can, uh, because then he's much more likely to go into his, uh, his, his super state. You can see I don't even bother picking up the shiny. I would probably recommend you grab the shiny <laughs> that I ignored here. But uh, yeah, you just want to do as much damage as possible, knocking him out of super rage mode, and killing him as fast as possible too. Uh, obviously, that kind of goes without saying, and we'll talk about the set in just a second. But, um... The thing is, the crest rewards drop a solid, like, if you're eating for feeling unlucky cat like I am, the crest rewards drop a solid, like, 2,000 or so fuel per. And so that's a pretty significant proportion uh, per run, if you're getting, like, six or 7,000 per run. Uh, a pretty significant proportion of that comes from the crest rewards, and so beating the quest quickly is just as important as, you know, picking up as many shinies as you can. Uh, and so, yeah, a nice middle ground is making sure to definitely pick up every time you knock him out of Super Rage, that shiny. Um, and otherwise, getting as many shinies to drop as you can and picking them up in a big cluster. Um... Otherwise, just killing it as fast as you can. So you can see I'm pretty happy with what we've got so far. Uh, so what I'm doing now is just trying to expedite, uh, expedite the win. It, like, I haven't fully optimized this run at all, to be honest with you. Um, like, it might be more efficient to not bother with this pitfall trap so that you can, like, knock him out of Super Rage a couple extra times per run. I'm really not 100% sure, to be honest with you. Um, but mostly, I I'm just trying to beat the quest quickly now. Because you basically get a... Uh, like, even if you don't worry too much about the shinies at all, if you just kill it quickly and pick up the super rage drop shinies, that alone will be enough to get a really significant uh, improvement. Speaking of the improvement, it's roughly something in the region of like, uh, I think we were getting 70 or 80,000 fuel per hour uh, on average using this method, which is like a 50% increase over the guiding lens method. So it definitely is a lot faster if you're playing optimized. And now in terms of optimized, don't worry if you don't have the Fatalis HBG. Uh, Safi is generally just as good because of the close range augments. Unfortunately, Fatalis needs a lot more recoil to... Uh, to not to, to, to not recoil um, and so you can't really run as many close range augments uh, so Safi's HPG even though it has a fair chunk less raw actually ends up making up for the uh, making up for that in terms of close range augments don't worry if you don't like using the special scope either it's not really a huge deal um, obviously the 30% DPS helps but it's it, it's completely fine to go with that and you will get more shinies if you take the if the run takes longer anyway um, so you're not really losing out on much overall. That's the thing, even if you don't play super, super optimally in terms of getting the kill as fast as possible, uh, it doesn't really make a difference, because the increased uh, knockout of supercharge mode and the increased shiny drops you'll get end up making up the difference in my opinion. Um, other than that, try to capture at the end of the quest if possible. Remember, the shock traps won't work during his uh, super rage state. 
Yeah, try to uh, try to shock trap him. Uh, try sorry, try to pip, uh, try to capture him if possible. You can see the rewards we got here. Not that many in the way of shinies this run. We actually got fairly unlucky. Um, usually the the regular shiny drops give you at least like one uh, one call. But uh, yeah, try to trap him because the 40 seconds you save at the end of the quest from the reward timer, uh, as yeah, I mean it makes a big difference to be honest when you're doing five minute runs. Uh, additionally, I found that the capture rewards tend to be slightly better than the carve rewards uh, on average, but that might just be me. Yeah, so here are the rewards. You can see we've eaten for feeling lucky cats. So we've got a fair, a fair decent chunk of them. Uh, you can see the capture rewards uh, help too. This is a five minute run. Uh, really quick, really happy with, with the timer. Um, yeah, like five minutes and we'll talk about the fuel that we got in just a second. Uh, I guess I'll show you the set in a second too. I'm kind of rambling on a little bit chat because I'm trying to put this video out like as quickly as possible because the event is going to expire in like basically a day. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll skip forwards to the, to the Steamworks fuel. So as you can see, that five minute run, I guess we can round that up to six minutes if you account for loading times. That six minute run on average gets us 7,000 fuel. And this was actually kind of bad RNG. I've gotten upwards of 8,000 or 9,000 from this method. And I usually don't get much below six or seven. So this is honestly a little bit, a little bit of bad RNG. It could even be more. But let's just, let's just say 7,000 fuel per run. Each run takes you six minutes if you get really good at it. Um, that amounts to somewhere in the region of 70,000 fuel per hour, which is a huge improvement over the guiding lands method. And it's obviously a little bit more interesting. Um, yeah, this can definitely be optimized further. And again, don't worry if you don't have, uh, we found similar results with, uh, with uh, other methods too. So don't worry if you don't have the Safi HBG. Uh, I guess we'll talk about the set now though anyway, just for anybody who's curious. So here is the set. I'm using the uh, Vitalis HBG. As you can see, the augments are three recoil, uh, one close range, one special sculpt. Obviously you can drop the special sculpt for a shield or for another close range if you'd like more damage. Uh, don't worry again, as I've talked about, don't worry if you can't make this HBG. It's, it's not a big deal at all. Um, these are the augments, uh, ammo types and then the skills. Yeah, so in terms of skills, again, don't worry if you can't manage all of this. As I said, a lower DPS will get you more shinies per run anyway. And it, honestly, I pro it probably isn't the most efficient because we did other runs today and we got more fuel in only a few, a little bit longer. Like, so I think there is room for like lowering the DPS to get more shinies per run, but I'm, I'm not going to worry about that for now. Um, basically, I'm just running as much DPS as I can on my spread HPG build to, to get the kill as fast as possible. Uh, it's quite simple. So yeah, you can see we have 35 affinity at base, including the weapon augment. Uh, and then weakness exploit will obviously take that up to uh, 85 and Agi will take this up to uh, even further. Uh, the nice thing is you can run uh, a mixture of different augments and the, and the weapon is, is has a fairly decent base affinity. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's fairly decent. Uh, the set is fairly nice. Again, don't worry if you can't manage these skills. Uh, in terms of the essential skills, you can honestly, honestly drop release. Going from 8 ammo to 10 ammo isn't that big a deal. It's just kind of nice to have. But if you don't have the release decos, it's completely fine. Just run something else. Uh, and obviously, if you don't have Fatalis, then just use your old uh, meta spread HPG, which would have been um, Safi with uh, with Naga Awakening, maybe? I'm not 100% sure what the old meta HPG uh, was, but you can just take a look at the uh, the old uh, albums and, and have a look for those. Yeah, like just, just run whatever the old uh, meta one was. Two points of spread is obviously really nice, and crit boost and affinity skills are obviously really nice, but uh, otherwise, nothing too crazy here. Hopefully that all made sense. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Sorry for how rushed this video was. I just wanted to get it out before the uh, before the event expires. But uh, yeah, have a lovely day. Take it easy. Bye bye.